Stand clear of the closing doors. You just missed your whole opportunity in life. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Be on the plate. I'm your host, Mo. And no, this is not your average food channel. This is food for thought. So one thing that I've noticed that even despite um, the pandemic that we're going through, a lot of people's perspective haven't changed. A lot of people continue to remain to be the same, to operate under the same uh circumstances as if they did even before the virus people if you haven't noticed that this is a fucking wake-up call and it's time for you to get proactive and take charge of your life and do what it is you need to do to get your mindset ready to get your finances ready and prepare yourself for yet for what's yet to come then you're missing the train. You're missing the train. You're missing the train of opportunity. You're missing... every essential lesson that could possibly be taught to you. You're missing it and it's going right over your head. It's impossible to think that you could continue operating in the manner that you have continued to operate in for all of these countless years. So you have to evolve with times, absolutely. Um, it's essential, it's essential. It, it is paramount to anything else. Evolution, there's no escape in evolution. And as things progress out in today's society, so must you. You must get with the times. Let me tell you a little story. For some of you who don't know, I was incarcerated for 17 years. I went to prison at the age of 14 and I came out, I was what, 30 something. You calculated, do the math. Straight, I did that time straight. Ever since I was a juvenile, all the way till I transferred to the Department of Corrections in New York State. I didn't get out, I didn't see, I didn't see the streets, I didn't see nothing, however, I always stood abreast with the times by feeding my mind, nourishing my spirit, nourishing my mind. Um, I continued, uh, uh, I never adopted sort of the, the, the systems mentality. I've never uh, embraced it. And so fast forward, the same way that I operated then, I operate now. I still have that hunger to succeed, that drive to want to persevere and to make use of what time I do have on this earth, which is limited because that's something that is unescapable. Time is going to run out. Time is going to run out. And it'll be a shame for you to wake up one day in a bad situation and realize that you never took advantage of those moments that you had the opportunity to brainstorm and to build something that would continue to uh, uh, contribute to your legacy, you know? And we all have legacies to fulfill you know, whatever it is, whether your father, mother, sister, brother, you know, what do you want to be remembered by? You know, um, that's something that I constantly build upon. But um, so quarantine has taught a lot of people how to survive, but it has not yet taught them how to live and how to evolve and how to change their ways or their patterns of behavior so that they can progress and certainly 
it is the right time to do that. It is the right time to do that because the, the playing field is even right now. Everybody's in a fucked up predicament. You know, there's no one that's immune or, or that's, you know, that, that's so out there that that um, that they're not affected by what's going on. And as I've spoken on my previous videos, because a lot of people don't know even where to start. And it starts at home. It starts wherever the fuck you're at. It could be home. It could be in a prison cell. It could be, you know, at, at your, your boy's couch. It could be anywhere. It's just s switching, switching gears and putting yourself in that frame of mind that you have something to do, you have a life to live, you have a legacy to fulfill, and you're gonna do that. And you're gonna be proactive here on out, and you're going to always demand the most out of your potential. You're always gonna put your best foot forward, and you're gonna evolve each and every day. You're gonna learn something each and every day. You're gonna get a step closer to your goal, whatever goal it may be, you're going to get a step closer uh, each and every day. And that's something that, that's how you build. That's how you get places. That's how you achieve those dreams, those goals, that that mental stability, um, that, that, uh, that source of happiness within yourself. Um, so let's get it. Let's get it. You know, let's let's get up off the couch. Let's fucking pump ourselves up. Let's get proactive. Let's get pre productive. Let's get, let's get it. The truth is that the great, the greatest investment that you can make, it's in your intellectual property. And I'm gonna tell you something. I'm a property owner. Um. Even that's something that could be taken away from me, although I own my properties outright, but still in all, if, who knows, even in a, at a times like this, I'm getting hit hard because there's a lot of people that are in financial distress that can't pay their rent. I have about half of my tenants that have not paid rent and I'm not rich by any means. Um, I get by, I, I, I have I have good financial uh, financial understandings, uh, so I'm able to navigate through life and 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 get by right now and and just you know clamp down and and deal with the ne normal necessities. You know I just um, that's where I'm at. However, aside from an asset and a physical property this intellectual property. And that's something that can never be taken away from you. That is your, that's it, that is the only thing that you can, that's the only property that you will own, ever own, and no one can strip you from that. No one can take away your fortitude. No one can take away your intellect. No one can ever take away your your fuel, your fire, your desire to do better. And it doesn't matter even if you find yourself in a predicament that you think that you cannot get out of, there's always a way, there's always a solution. There's always a course of action that will allow you to circumvent whatever uh, trial or tribulation you may be going through or financial distress, there's always a way. There's always a way. And the only person that can actually get you out of that is yourself. It is yourself. So that is the greatest investment that you can ever make is investing in yourself, in your own intellectual property, educating yourself, keeping yourself abreast with the times, um, staying sharp. If you ever notice, there's some people that just never fall. They never cripple, they never buckle. Because somebody that's prepared doesn't have to get prepared. So they're already a step further in life. 
You know, they're already, uh, they're, they're a step ahead. You know, it's like if you were running, uh, what do you call, a uh, uh, triathlon, maybe? Or what is the name of that? Where you have uh, multiple, maybe 100 meters, and then there's, you know, one passes the baton to the other, and then the other, then the other, and then the last guy comes and brings it home. Well, that's how you, you sort of win the race, you know, by always advancing, uh, uh, a little farther and a little farther and a little farther in increments. I lost my chain of thought. So, so once, once, once you gain, you know, once you gain this knowledge of yourself and, and you gain insight as to what you want to do in life, and how do you want your future to be and you engage yourself and you get mo you get moving um and you don't you, you don't stop things will automatically change for you because you start to draw in that positive energy that winning energy once you once you have that willing mentality the universe is going to respond and the universe is going to deliver as it always does but if you're slumped, if, if, if you're not walking around with your head held high, if you're not prideful of who you are, if, you're, if you have any sort of flaws within yourself that would inhibit you from having that happiness and, and that, that, that source of contentment within yourself, then you're not going to prosper. Point blank. You're not going to prosper might sound crazy to some people but aside from not have ha, you know ha, not having to pay bills and not dealing with what's going on in society my most productive days were the days that I spent incarcerated you know those were the times when I had nothing but had everything because I had myself and I didn't have to share myself with anybody. No one had a piece of me. No one was pulling me from, you know, every direction. There was no distractions. I was just strictly focused, you know? And that's why this is the opportune time for you to be focused. Because you're quarantined. We're still quarantined, basically. So this is the... There's no better time than right now than right now to get to the drawing board and do what you have to do to set your plans in motion so that once you come out of quarantine, you're ahead of the game. You're ahead of the game because your mindset is different, your fortitude is there, your mental stability is there, and you're just ready to put your plans into action. And you're gonna be proactive at doing so and therefore you are going to succeed. So don't miss that train. Don't miss that train. Hop on that train because opportunity awaits you. Don't take life for granted. Tomorrow's never promised. So always be the best version of yourself. Always be the best version of yourself. Live your life to the fullest. Find pride within yourself, you know, and what you do and the people you love and care for, you know, make shit count. Make shit count. Make shit count. You know how crazy it would be or how bad I would feel if I weren't able to it's a very upsetting feeling when you can't achieve something shit even when I started this YouTube channel which was my last challenge um it gets difficult it gets frustrating you know learning a new program learning a new system adapting to it uh 
navigating through it, you know, learning how to figure things out, especially on your own. But you do figure it out. You figure it out eventually. If you really want something, you have to work at it. And I'm not saying that you have to work hard. You have to work smart. Those are the people that win. Not the people that work hard. It's the people that work smart. The people that work efficiently. Efficiency is effective. Efficiency is effective. It works. Don't wait. Don't wait. I have, a, I have, a, I have, I have my boy Black Man who actually he was in in um one of my first videos that I put up, and me and him always build. We pretty much call each other. We talk every day, and um, I embarked on another business venture, which I'm not gonna mention what it is now because I'm gonna wait to the to the appropriate time to do so because there's a time and a place for everything. But his motto is black man, be patient, black man, be patient. And my response to him is be patient for what? What am I supposed to wait for? If I have a sound mind, a creative mind, a healthy mind, if I have an idea or a mission that I'm gonna embark on, what do I have to wait for? What do I have to wait for? And he says, black man, you need a team. Even like, even when I started the, I started my YouTube channel. It was just the other day that he realized that I was the one who recorded this. I was the one who put it together. I was the sole person who learned the program to edit these videos. I had to re I had to learn all of this on my own. Because I'm the type of person that I don't depend on nobody. I can't wait for somebody. I'm not on somebody else's time. I'm on my time. And I have something that I want to do. And why should I have to wait? Why should I have to wait, black man? Patience for what? Why do I need patience, black man? You watching. Why do I need patience? What you want me to wait for? Time is running out, brother. <laughs> what am I going to wait for, black man? For you? You want me to wait for you? That's a sidebar to, to black man. Shout out to Zaire from RTS, running the streets. My man, my brother. Love you. Keep doing your thing, brother. And make sure you guys, um, you check them out. Um, it, like I said, in one of my first videos, I, 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 um, I posted up information about, about his clothing line, running the streets. Support the movement, support his movement. He's doing a lot for the kids. He does a lot for the community. Uh, he's constantly on his grind. Um, so, so shout out to Black Man. And I don't call him Black Man because... He's a black man. I call him black man because that's what he calls himself. And he calls that, he calls black man, he calls everybody black man. As a matter of fact, everybody's a black man, unless you're not white, but you know, whatever. Um, I never thought about that. You think maybe he calls a white man, white man? I'm gonna call him on that and see if he calls white man, white man. Because he calls black man the black man. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah. Don't wait for nobody. Don't wait for nobody. We got the God-given ability to learn, to, uh, to soak in information. We're educable. Um, we are a people with strong mindsets. I myself, I've been through a lot. I've struggled a lot. Um, so let's get it together. Let's get it together. Let's, 
let's uh let's let's not this whole coronavirus thing be in vain let's come out of the corona let's let's come out of this quarantine with something something to show for instead of you know just you know maybe you know who knows how many posts how many how many hours spent on your phone just posting on 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 facebook or instagram or spending your time doing miscellaneous things that don't amount to nothing and it's not going to prove itself to be beneficial once the doors open up and we're able to get back freely out in society and function and operate you know don't be one of those people that even still they come out and they're fucking behind schedule don't be that person don't be that person because you know what there's people like myself you know that while we have this time to dig into ourselves and 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 formulate ideas and formulate you know better routes to take and on how to be successful or how to be uh become even more happier um or how to even progress more in life um you know we're going to pull ahead you know so use your time wisely invest in yourself um don't cheat yourself out of opportunities that are available to you even now and still because once the doors open up shit is is going to be crazy it's going to be crazy in the sense that there's going to be a it's, it's like letting out a lion out of a cage and you're going to have to just go you know you got to get yours you got to get yours you know, there's, there's people that, that, that are preparing, preparing for that day because it is going to happen. And slowly, it is happening already. We're slowly making that transition. Um, you know, they're starting to open up in some states and then, I don't know, New York, New Jersey or whatever is, you know, which was hit hard. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little behind because the case, you know, the issue was a little more severe here. But... Um, be ready, man. Be ready. Be prepared, man. Shoot me with a comment. Let me know what are your ideas. What you doing? You know, uh, how do you, how are you spending your time in quarantine? And what are you doing to better yourself? You know, and what are your plan is once you get out? Cause I got a, my plan and I've implemented it already, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to reveal it just yet because it's something special to me. It's something that's very dear to me and I'm very passionate about it, but the time has come. I'm just waiting for some, I'm waiting for some packages to come. And once it come, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to announce it. But, um, yeah, you know, uh, 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 let's, let's, let, you know, sh hit me with a comment. Uh, shoot me a comment and for those of you who are new to this channel be sure to share Be sure to like this hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you receive notifications and thank you for supporting the channel um, and also um, Let's get these let's 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 you know, let's let's get these subscribers up, you know Let's get that, hit that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's get these, these you know, um, because believe it or not, it takes, you know, I have to allocate time to make these videos. And although I enjoy doing it, but um, on the flip side of the coin is um, I need to be engaged, you know. So, shoot, you know, I got some people that some, you know, people have commented on my videos and, and I, I appreciate the love and support and shout out to you guys. I love you guys and thank you. Um, but let's keep this channel going. I want to even make it bigger. Help me grow this channel into something that, you know, I'll be able to do even bigger and better things um, in the near future. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell.